Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Different types of networking keyboards are used to connect different devices. In networking, the most common keyboards include coaxial keyboard, twisted pair, optical fiber, and parallel or serial keyboards. Their uses depends on the networking topology, hardware, software, and the network size. Networking keyboards, connectors, and their specifications belong to the physical layer or layer one of the OSI model. Today, I like to talk about serial transmission, parallel transmission, serial and parallel connectors, and USB. Before I explain them, I like to introduce two other terms: serials circuit and a parallel circuit, because they are easily confused with a serial and a parallel transmission. Serials circuit is a circuit composed solely of components connected in series. For example, three light bulbs in one continuous loop. These three bulbs are said to be in series. In series circuit, the current through each of the component is the same. Any break in series circuit breaks the whole circuit. In contrast, parallel circuit includes components connected completely in parallel. For example, three bulbs are in a separate loop and they are in parallel. The voltage across the circuits is the sum of the voltages across each component. Each component has its own circuit, which means the failure of one circuit won't break others. Now let's talk about a serial transmission. In serial transmission, data bits are sent one bit at a time, bit by bit, sequentially over a communication channel. Serial transmission can be both asynchronous and synchronous. In an asynchronous transmission, data bits can be sent at any point in time, and no synchronization is required between the transmitter and the receiver. In synchronous transmission, data bits are transmitted as a continuous stream in time. Both the transmitter and the receiver operate use a synchronized clock. In parallel transmission, multiple bits, usually 8 bits, are sent on a different channels simultaneously within the same cable, 8 bits at a time. Parallel transmission must be synchronized to a clock between the sender and the receiver. It's faster than the serial transmission, and it is used for a short distance. Let's summarize the differences between serial and parallel transmission. In terms of reliability, the serial transmission is reliable and straightforward. The serial transmission has few errors and less noise. Parallel transmission is faster but unreliable and more complicated. Transmission distance. The serial transmission is used for longer distances while the parallel transmission is used for shorter distances. In terms of implementation, the serial keyboards are thinner, longer, and more economical than parallel keyboards. The serial is, is cheaper to implement and is more popular. Now let's talk about the keyboards and ports of both serial and parallel transmission. Serial keyboards are typically used for RS-232 communication. The form of connectors depends on particular serial port used. 
They are used for connections to a modem, printer, mouse, etc. The most common serial port is a 9-pin Mail D7 miniature connector, or D sub, or simply DB. The connector gets its name because it resembles the letter D. The parallel port is typically a 25 pin female DB type port. They are connected to a printer or scanner or other peripherals, but they are largely replaced by USB. USB or Universal Serious Bus is used everywhere and it replaces both serial and parallel technologies. USB comes with different sizes and specifications. In general, USB is used for charging batteries and transferring data between devices. For example, the USB 2.0 is used to connect a variety of peripheral devices such as mice, keyboards, printers, scanners, external hard drives, etc. The micro USB connector is often found on phones or other mobile devices. Mini USB is often found on digital cameras. 8-pin lighting USB is Apple product used for iPhone or iPad. USB-C is emerging standard for charging and transferring data. You can find them used for all kinds of devices. And you will find many more types of USB. And USB technologies, just like any other computing technologies, are evolving quickly. I hope this video is useful. Thank you very much. See you next time.